just, but it's nice actually to to get to say this stuff too because I was like I read Pierce's thing the other day about like the uplift of the soul and that's so in line with where I've been sort of feeling going like especially in the pandemic right that like this is just bullshit if we're pretending that it's actually about learning rigorous proper citation styles or something like that's not that's not going to save the world, right? What's going to save the world is actually people who care, who know how to listen to each other, who know how to like perceive patterns and then make better ones, right? Like that's the only possibility, right? For for everybody getting out of this alive, right? And because otherwise we're really, we've really fucked up already, right? Like we've really, 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 you know, like messed up the planet, messed up are like the exchange systems of like the you know go government versus business versus you know preservation of nature and we have to fix it i mean we know this we have to fix it like yesterday so we have to you know like i think our i hope our classes it's really idealistic and kind of cheesy i know but i hope it, you know it's going to take many good people to like do so and I think to do so will take this higher level thinking of like really of seeing yourself also as part of as complicit and also part of these patterns right like we act upon each other we are acted upon by our histories and by others and we always have the possibility for doing better right once we're made aware of our many shortcomings <laughs> or, or, or our negative patterns, you know? So I also, that's the, I think that's the big goal. I mean, I'm in it too, right? Of like, what are, what is this all for? But, uh, you know, as the pandemic carries on, I think that felt all the more like real that we need to get our students to feel that, like to, to, to feel moved that they can, it's not just about getting a, a job and an income at the end of this. I mean, they have to, and I, I, I empathize with that goal too, but that's just, that's, that's one goal, but the, but there's a bigger shared goal here. Right. And there's so many things we've done so badly, right. There's so many things we've done so badly that we're still doing badly. I mean, the big, we like the, like humans, right. That we're doing so badly, um, to devastating effect on humans and animals and nature and everything. Uh, so, there's there have to be alternatives and I don't know what they are right I don't I don't know at all but we have to find them right and or and so we can study history we can study art we, we can study the ways people pattern like make meaning so that in moments of change so that maybe we can do so too right so I hope that some of some of them do they, they're they're so smart our students are so smart they really are that's the other thing I've found now is instead of, you know, when I first started teaching, I was so like, well, like everybody, I guess at the beginning, like beholden to like, I have to teach the content of the textbook. I have to get through it. I don't know enough. I don't know enough. And I don't, I don't know enough and fear over like, and it was so like, I was trying to shout at them to get every date across and it probably was not so effective. And I really stressed myself out, <laughs> but now I don't feel that way that much. I feel more relaxed and I feel like the best learning will be ones that they actually kind of drive themselves like I'm supposed to like my job is not to be the expert all the time but to be just a person kind of designing this experience that leads to a question for them and then like empowering them to like here's some things to read and talk about and make and your group is gonna like come out with one possible answer by the end of 12 weeks. 